Actually, I don't like that light. Actually, before we do that, go vegan. That's more like it. Rightio. I've been um, waiting till the end of the day, actually. Um, and then choosing, you know, by choice to go out as it's just getting dark. Um, obviously, it's pushed, pushed forward now. It's getting darker earlier. So tonight I use my Lupin, Lupin Betty actually, it's quite an old, um, an old Lupin light, um, but it's good and reliable and I had the Phoenix on the helmet which is good. I'm going to have to uh, do another light review soon I think because uh, I've got a fantastic new rear light I've had for well over a month now and I think it needs to be, uh, needs to be seen, needs to be, needs to be shown and then uh, if anyone wishes to buy one, they can. I can. I can show a link to the uh, the company that makes them. So I left. I left my hometown tonight at about. I left it till six o'clock. Because the thing is, man, if I like, if I'm able to, if I'm, if I'm able to go out at like half four or something, I'm kind of um and ah about it sometimes because you hit works traffic and cycling in works traffic is like. By choice, I don't really like doing it. Again, if I need to go, as I said before, A to B, point to point to, to run an errand or to get somewhere on the bike, I don't care what it is, main road, I'm there, you know. But by choice, if I want to go out and enjoy a ride or do something, then I will, uh, I'll choose my time, let's put it like that, I'll choose my times. You know, I'll still get some quality riding in, riding in and uh, it's, it's, not, it's not bother. I don't let, um, you know, traffic hinder my um, health and fitness goals, you know, and you shouldn't either. So today, or tonight rather, was the first time uh, I wore my um, Castelli radiation jacket this year. Uh, I haven't got the sleeves on it yet, and everyone recognises those stripes, a bit like the old Adidas 3 stripe brand, you know what, you know what I mean? Um, the old Heli Hansen with my craft base layer. Not a bad combo. You're a bit chilly when you go out, as you should always be anyway. You don't want to be like toasty warm going out because you're gonna get, you're just gonna like blow up and get too too hot, you know. And I took um, <clears throat> I took some gloves with me on my little bag, my little camel back on the my wear, and what else did I? I took my ash sauce gilet actually, just in case I want to layer up. And also bearing in mind if you if you stop for a mechanical or a puncture, even at this time of year, you're gonna get fucking cold pretty quick. <clears throat> um, and as it starts to get colder in another month or so's time, I'll take um, I'll start taking my like balaclava out of me or something. But I didn't need to wear the gloves tonight. I was I was um, the sort of temperature I was quite warm, you know. But yeah, left like I said, round round sort of sixish. Did I say sixish a minute ago? I don't know. I'm tired. I got to get some grub down here. I think I said yeah, about sixish anyway. Quarter five. Um, quarter six, six o'clock or something. And uh, there were some fucking head cases around in like a 30 mile an hour limit, okay? They really, they really, really should bring in 20 mile an hour, I think, in built up areas. Again, it's, you know, all you know, people like won't take no notice of it, but if they lower the speed down and they say they're speeding at 30 or whatever, then yeah, they're going to be driving slower, aren't they? I set this car tonight. Um, number plate X, X444 something or another. And. You know, being in my area, like, say where you live, all right, you can sometimes see far ahead of you, like, where a car goes or whatever, and, like, I've done, I have chased, chased cars before, man, I've done it, it's, it's no point, like, the only re way now, like, I'd probably follow a car or something, you know, if you did have a, have a head cam or something, you know, and something happened and you needed to get the Reggie or something and whatever, but most of the time I just don't bother, but... There's cars around this area I've got my eye on, you know, people that go speeding, you know. I will report people. I've done it before. Because why should you put up with it? Like, how would they like it? Like, I mean, these people, they got they got kids. I'm sure some people have got kids. Their little ones play at the front of their house or something, maybe, you know. Drinking their little fizzy pops after school or something. You know, they like speeding cars going past their house, you know. It's the same thing, isn't it? People just need to uh, respect the speed limit and think about everyone else. Just respect everybody and... There are rules, man. There's fucking certain rules. And speed is one of them that should be, like, obeyed, if you know what I mean. 
people are say, oh, haven't you ever speeded? Yeah, I fucking have, actually, when I was younger. I've done stupid things, man. I've done, like, 50 and a 30, which may not sound much. I've done 90, 90 mile an hour and a 30 on my motorbike, man. Stupid, I know, but, hey, live and learn. I kind of never... I've never done it when there's loads of people around. Like, say, you only want that one person, man, but... Granted, we've all done things, you know. No regrets. Life's a learning curve. But when it's at that time of the day and there's plenty of other traffic around and stuff and parked cars um, and, and especially overtaking me like they did uh, I don't know no one got hurt anyway as long as I don't get hurt I couldn't really give a fuck about anyone else to be honest sad as that s sad sounds but it's like um, that's how it is out on the road man that's, that's how it is you just like um when I go out on my bike, it could be the last time I ever go out on my bike, you know. I just want to do the best I can to stay alive. So, as I said about the lights, I was using my light, my um, night flux rear light tonight. There's a bunch of settings on there, and I've scrolled through some settings, and I've got it um, programmed at the moment, where it's got like four, four kind of strobe settings and four constant settings. And the fourth, um, the fourth constant setting and the fourth strobe preferred fourth strobe in the daytime that is like riding behind someone with like any you know like a blinky on at night you know it's that bright but tonight there were so many like fucking idiots around rather than have it on the low set and it was on like setting number two I thought I'm, I'm not putting up with it you know so that's where it stayed all night and plus I had another small light running on my back Always pays to run two um, flashing lights, or rather run one constant. Like I might have had, I might have the night flux on constant and the LED, other LED on my bag on blinky mode, or I have that one on my bag on constant and then the night flux on strobe. You know, I, f I just um, flip about between the two. And it always pays to have two lights because I used to like have this habit of keep checking my checking my rear light was still flashing away um, with two going it's just that little bit of extra security you know um, so yeah the pace to do that and also take a backup light out as well anyway you should just take one out just in case one fails so in general tonight was a good ride and I stuck to the main roads which I know every little crack every little sunken manhole every fucking pothole like you shouldn't have to should you you know well, you know like this section of road smooth and then like in another three or four hundred yards it's going to be rough for another five miles or something like when when the roads really they should be just smooth everywhere you know really they really should be you shouldn't have to think when you're cycling or driving along a road that you know you've got to swerve around the drain holes like manholes potholes rough areas like if you look down the motorway now um you, sometimes you don't notice stuff as much as you do when you're on two wheels like on a motorbike or on a bicycle but you look down the motorway now on some you know when you want to go over some motorway bridges and some sections you can see where the sections of motorway are where you've got all, all the three lanes all right and then where they join up some of the cracks running down through the middle are crazy man like, it shouldn't be like that, should, should it? It's just dangerous, you know? You get caught in one of those. So, you know, you just have to, like, change your riding style a bit, you know? And just, like, go across them if you're going to go over overtake or to, to go and to exit or something. It's just a different sort of style of riding, but you shouldn't have to, should you? There's, there's some areas on the road, all right, when I go out from my, from my house, that you can go around them on the left near the curb. But you can put yourself in um, a dangerous position sometimes, especially if there's traffic around. So you need to you need to get your road position right. You know you need to be out on the white line to go around the right hand side of certain bits of road, man. Otherwise, like you can like seriously fuck up your wrist or something or your bike, man. That's more important, isn't it? Um, break a spoke or something or whatever or worse. Surprising, you know. The surprising the amount of damage you can do just going over like rough roads. It takes its toll, you know, on machine and body, man. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking nuts. Like, all over on the continent, man, it's like... There are some bad roads, but, like, 90% 90, 90 of the roads are, like, super smooth, you know? 
compared to the shit we get here. So yeah, enjoying the night riding again, because that time of year, um, get out, long, short, whatever. I try to keep my night rides kind of, um, <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, I don't always put every ride up on Strava, man. Sometimes I might go over and go out and do 200 plus K winter ride, and I might not necessarily always record it. Um, like for the October MTS, now um, I'm not really trying um, to do the maximum amount of miles and put every ride up or something. Um, I know in my head if I wanted to, and I had the time, I could do like two, two, 250k every day or something, and be in the top 10, and maybe, you know. It's no big deal. Um, sometimes I get my head down and clear, you know, 1500 kilometers in a month or whatever encourages you to get out but sometimes I can't be bothered you know I, you know I, I do other things sometimes I lose that fun aspect although I still keep turning pedals I might not always ride for a week or two sometimes I'll just go for a walk and you know read books and just do other stuff go running or whatever chill time that's how I roll really um don't use a turbo trainer or anything I've got one man I've never really been into it though just like to go out and ride in the real elements, you know, against like, against wind. You, you can't, like, you can't, like, simulate that, can you? Riding against, like, head to tail winds and things and just being out, you know, side winds, side to tail winds and all sorts of shit, you know, being in the rain, you know, different temperatures, daytime, light time, night time, if you get me. But yeah, then again, man, if we get, like, lots of snow or something. Because it could happen, you could get snow for like four or like five fucking weeks or something that would drive me insane and I might set up the turbo or something, but we shall see, man. Anyway, just a check in, just a chitter chatter. Um, again, um, what did I say the other day about how to come across on fucking YouTube sometimes? Like, there's never really a good, a good or the right time, in my opinion, to like to speak on here because everyone, a lot of other people I watch, so it's almost like they do these super edited, <laughs> you know, this is me, this is how I am every time video uploads, you know? Whereas me, I just wanna like, yeah, I like to fuck around sometimes and that, but not all the time, man. I like to kind of like share things and, which I'm gonna do, I've got some good reviews I'm gonna do actually, some products I bought, but it's just like be yourself, and every video is different as well, you know, you can come across different in every video, um, which is good, it's variety, isn't it, rather than fucking all these like fairy lights and colourful super edited videos with recipes and meals and things that you slaved over for fucking, for fucking days and that, just to take a good photo or something, and you know, but then a lot of people seem to go for that, but I can't really give a fuck, to be honest. I appreciate things like that. But I just like to watch, like, like m there should be, like, more real people I'm doing real, like, vlogs on YouTube, you know? Rather than all this fake shit, you know? People acting all fake and whatever. I don't know. Peddling real out of the UK. If you like this video, give it a like. And I was going to do it whilst I was out riding, but couldn't be fucked.